Hey there, audio friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a cheap little speaker amp. This is the SMSL DA1. And you can see this dude is tiny. Fits in the palm of your hand. Is it any good? It's 50 bucks. That's a pretty low entry price, right? So if this thing even puts out reasonable quality sound um, for 50 bucks, I think it's probably a win for SMSL. Let's dig into it. Let's talk about how it sounds. All right, first off, um, we're gonna do a little comparison eventually to this little Lapai. This is probably like the cheap, right? This used to be the entry level amps here is like these cheap little $20 suckers. Uh, didn't even come with power supplies. You have to buy, it, buy them, you know, separate. Um, can, if this guy can beat that, then I think we're sitting pretty good. Immediately, the build quality is noticeably better than something like this, right? This one has cheap binding posts, you know, it feels just a lightweight, empty. The knobs don't feel good. Very flimsy, right? It's a metal case, but it just, none of it feels well done. The SMSL, on the other hand, feels like a finished product, right? It's a simple product. The volume pot isn't great, um, but you know, I don't know how much you'll be using it. Maybe a lot, maybe a little. If you have a DAC with a remote, potentially you can do volume control that way. You won't have to touch the, the knob all that much. Around the back, you know, you've got your spot for a power supply, which we'll look at here in a second. You've got a little bit nicer binding post than the ones on the Lapai. Still not great, but but certainly usable. And then you've got RCA in. Okay, um, nice big button on off button on the front that you click, red LED when it's off, green LED when it's on. None of that was a problem for me. You've got some nice little rubber feet on there. It's a nice little footprint. This I think is kind of interesting because here is the, um, here's the power supply for it, which is honestly probably just as big as the unit and probably weighs just as much as the unit. You can see they went with like the brick design here. It was fine. It's just, it's shocking how big this is compared to the amp, right? It's, it's pretty close to the same. Okay. But I didn't have any issues with, with the power supply or anything like that. So let's talk sound. So typically on my regular stereo setup, I'm using a Fozzy A100, I think. Um, so it's a bigger chunk of your amp about that big, but it still was only about a hundred bucks um, used off eBay. And so this is half the price of that, probably an eighth of the size of that. How does it sound? Well, this thing is putting out um, 65 watts per channel at four ohms. It, it's it seemingly got pretty decent specs, right? 0.03% uh, per THD. Um, it's using a Texas Instruments TPA3118 chip, if that means anything to you. It, sh it should sound reasonably okay. And that's probably what I would say about it, is it sounds okay. Um, when I was listening to my Fozzie switching back and forth, the Fozzie, I feel like, is a much better balanced sound. I feel like it presents spatial information a lot better. Um, this guy is just really a no frills, plays some sound, plays it cleanly, reasonably well, but it does come off a little flat to me. I don't feel like you're getting an exceptional amount of spatial information or detail. I thought the bass was boosted just a bit on this guy. Um, it, it didn't sound nearly like, the, the low end didn't sound nearly as clean as my Fozzie does. I think, for 50 bucks, or if you could buy it used for even a little bit cheaper than that, or I think I saw it on sale on Amazon for like $42 at one point, right? I mean, what else are you gonna get at that price? Are you gonna go down to something like this, which I think is a mistake? Um, I would avoid these guys. I think if you're looking at something like this, just go ahead and look for something like the DA1. So I think for 40, 50 bucks, this is a serviceable amp that's gonna get you up and running and playing some music. But I think if you're looking to find anything special in there, um, you're you're probably not gonna get it with this little guy. Okay, it's it's just gonna get your foot in the door with some decent sound. And I think that's all we need to say about this guy. Does it pass? Does it get a pass for 40, 50 bucks? Yeah, it gets a pass for it. I think if you're willing to spend a little bit more, you can probably do better. Um, I'm hopefully have a, a Fozzy ZA3 on the way, I think, which you know comes in at about 130 bucks. And I think if, if that thing's as good as everybody else says it is, that's probably the one that I would recommend saving up and going for or something along those lines, right? But but you know, to get your foot in the door, if you're on an absolute 
budget, build, this guy will make it happen for you. I think that's all we need to say about it. Are you interested in more speaker amp reviews? Do you want more speaker and hi-fi stereo stuff on this channel? If so, sound off in the comments, let me know. And that is something I will consider doing. I'll have at least a little bit more of it coming here in the future. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.